guys, it's Tina and I am back and I am here with another swatch video for you guys. This time featuring the Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadows. These are the single eyeshadows that are available from Kat Von D. And these debuted a few months ago and they have been taking the makeup world by storm and for good reason. As I mentioned, these are single eyeshadows from Kat Von D and they retail for $21 and they contain 0.1 ounce of product which is a ton of product that's double the size of a small eyeshadow. So a MAC eyeshadow, a Urban Decay single eyeshadow, these are double the size of those. So you're getting 0.1 ounce. And they are available for sale on the Sephora website and also in Sephora stores if you're interested in checking them out. And they are packaged in simple, basic matte black little pans with a clear lid so you can see the actual shades. And on the bottom you have the label to indicate the shade name. And on the top you have the Kat Von D logo as well. And I have all 11 shades that were available originally. But looking at the Sephora website, it seems that three of the shades were pulled either for reformulation or something was wrong with the last couple of batches that caused breakage, especially for the Thunderstruck um, shade, which most people are dying over because they're using it as a highlight. It is a really beautiful highlight that you can use on your face, but I've heard people mention that it breaks, it crumbles really easily. So I think maybe they were pulled to go ahead and reformulate them and get them back into tip top shape before they sell them again. And I commend Kat Von D and Sephora for pulling these shades and just getting them done right before they sell them again on the website and in stores because you don't want people to just be upset and just like what the hell is going on with these products and you know you're gonna get a lot of returns and a lot of complaints so I'm happy that they pulled the shades and are redoing them so people are gonna enjoy the products as much as I do so we're gonna jump into the swatches right now so you can take a gander of all the shades that I have in my collection so we're starting out with the first shade thunderstruck which is described as a metallic pearl and this one is an iridescent, very shiny champagne gold shade. And if you share it out, you get a beautiful sheen, a beautiful golden sheen for a highlight. The next shade up is Static Age, which is described as a metallic silver. And this is just an icy silver shade. It is medium in tone. It is not a dark or very light silver. It's just a medium tone metallic silver. Then we have the shade Black Number 1, which is described as a metallic gunmetal. This one is more of a sooty and chunky gunmetal shade with silver and gold shimmer throughout it. It's a beautiful shade, but it will get fallout because it does have that chunky texture to it. Then we have the shade Paranoid, which is described as a metallic cobalt. This is a bright, intense cobalt blue. It is nice and bright. It's a beautiful shade and it has blue, like an aqua blue sparkler shimmer throughout it as well. Then we have the shade Dang Zing, which is described as a metallic violet. And this one, again, is a shimmery purple shade with iridescent violet shimmer throughout it and a little bit of aqua blue sparkle as well. It's a really beautiful purple shade. It has good pigmentation. It takes a little bit more to build it up, but it's a very beautiful purple shade. So here are those first five shades. They're very pigmented, they're gorgeous shades, and they don't take more than one or two swipes to get full pigmentation. Next up, we have the shade Iggy, which is described as a metallic mermaid green. And to me, this is just a bright grass green. It is really shimmery, really bold, really intense in pigmentation, and it has a bit of a golden sheen to it. It's a really beautiful grass green shade. Here we have a bold shade Electric Warrior, which is described as a metallic citron green. This one is just a bright neon green shade. It's a lemony green. It's really beautiful. It has good pigmentation again for such a light color and there's a lot of gold sheen to it as well. Now we have the shade Thrasher which is described as a metallic gold. This one is more of a dirty vintage gold shade. It does take a little bit to build it up but it does have good pigmentation. It is more of a dirty rusty gold. It is not a straight in your face yellow gold. Then we have the shade Synergy, which is described as a metallic bronze. 
This one is just a medium tone bronze shade. Nice pigmentation, really smooth and builds up really great. Then we have the shade Dose, which is described as a metallic copper. This is an RNG based copper shade. Really beautiful, good pigmentation again, really builds up nicely. And then last up we have the shade Raw Power, which is described as a metallic mahogany. This one is just a reddened toned burgundy shade. It's shimmery, it's nice, it's really good for the fall. It builds up nice again, it has really nice pigmentation. And here are those six shades swatched. Great pigmentation again. These neutral shades are more wearable for most people. The greens are really bright and intense and fun. And the last four are just neutral metallic shades. So here we have all 11 shades swatched on my arm. We have some nice metallic shades in here. They're mostly silvers and golds and bronzes, but you have some nice pops of color as well, which is right up my alley. I love bright colors, and these are really nicely pigmented, especially for that purple. Purples are usually really difficult to make and have them be really pigmented, so that's a really good purple. The shade performed really well. And the first shade, Thunderstruck, is such a beautiful highlight shade. I recommend that. Even if you use it on your skin, like on your face as a highlight, it works really beautifully. And all these shades would have to be up your alley for you to grab them because, again, they're colorful shades, they're metallic shades, they're not neutral, like the most wearable shades in the world, but I think you can get away with using the bronze and the copper and the mahogany shade in an everyday fall look. And then the other shades are when you really want to have some fun. And then the black number one is actually a really nice shimmery shade for smoky eyes. Overall, these swatched really nicely. They apply really nicely to the lids. They have good pigmentation and they build up really nicely. So I enjoy these colors. So hopefully those swatches were helpful for you guys. Again, I am trying to share swatches before I do an actual review so you can get a taste for the product to see if there are shades that you're interested in and just to see the shades against a deeper skin tone. And that will help you to make your purchasing decisions a little bit easier. And I will definitely jump into a review at a later date if you guys request. But overall, I think these eyeshadows are really nice. They're highly pigmented. They're smooth. They're buttery without being too creamy where they'll crease on you. I think the pigmentation is nice. The application is nice. The wear is really nice. And they don't fade over time. They can get a little bit loose, so you can get some fallout from that. So be careful. Just use a sticky primer. Tap off your brush or really press your brush in so you get the product on the brush rather than all over your skin. But overall, I think these are great eyeshadows. And they are are a different formula than the my the love of my life makeup forever so if you're gonna ask me if how if I prefer these over makeup forever I don't but I don't prefer them any less like they're a different formula so depending on what I'm going for what colors I'm going for like the colors here are a, a lot different than my makeup forever eyeshadow so I do like them equally I like my makeup forever maybe a little bit more like a little bit more but these are really good eyeshadows if you just want a quick review of them so again hopefully this video was helpful and I will talk to you guys soon bye